Hey, what's up guys? This is Eric with Sim Media. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, increase your performance on any game, not just on your simulator, but any game out there. Um, and this is only for NVIDIA cards. I don't know about AMD cards if they have the same options. Um, so this was in, um, in, in collaboration with some other folks that I've been talking to about how to increase performance without having any frame hit or any lag, stutters, or any of that nature in your games. So um, the thing that I've been um, going to be doing here in the next couple of days is I'm going to be um, taking my system apart. I will be changing the uh, thermal pace on my CPU and graphics card. Uh, they're both water-cooled uh, by Corsair and EVGA. The graphics card that I'm using is a 1080 hybrid, and that's from EVGA, like I mentioned. And my CPU, it is uh, uh, an i7-6700K. It is currently clocked at 4.8, and I am going to try to uh, do 5 gigahertz once I, I use this, um, once I change the thermal piss, and I'm going to be changing it to the, um, it's a Thermal Grizzly Condonaut, Conductonaut, Thermal Grease. Um, it's currently 1549 at Newig. And um, it's supposed to be cooling down your system by um, anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. And that, that will increase performance. Um, I would also be, like right now my, my uh, graphics card is clocked at 2138. That's with the overclocking right now and the, uh, the fan curve that I'm using, it's uh, an aggressive fan curve. I am using the Slave bios um, because it has a slave bios and it has the uh the default bios also um but uh without any more delay i'm going to show you guys uh, how to what the tweaks that i used um and it's fairly simple if you go to your nvidia control panel um and if you don't have this uh you might want to download the uh, download the the most current um update on, on it if you don't have the control panel um, slide right there but um, the first thing we're going to be going is adjust image settings with the preview and you're going to go to use my preference emphasizing into performance so if, if you have it in the middle or quality you're going to put it down to performance you hit apply once you hit apply then you go into use the advanced 3d image settings and you hit apply the next thing you're going to go is manage 3D settings and you're going to pretty much leave everything um, how it is right now. Um, and you're going to use your max maximum pre-render frames and you can choose from 1 to 4. Um, I would choose 2 to 3 if you have an older graphics card that's from the 900 series. Um, but if you have like the, the Pascal series I would use a 1. Um, so since I have a, the 1080 I'm going to use 1. and um, also right here power management mode you're gonna go to perform maximum performance and the other thing everything else you're gonna be leaving how it is and you're gonna be changing texture filtering quality to high performance and the last thing virtual reality pre-render frames is one and you're gonna be matching that with this one and the reason why we're doing this is because you're when we set up the global settings to the, the settings that you the, the computer brings it up to it's it, it's like working double the double the performance or double the the work on the graphics card and you just want to take off that load off on the graphics card so if you leave this in pretty much in the lowest settings per se and you just tweak your um, in-game settings that's where you get your your performance at um, and right there you're gonna leave that the same and then your your resolution um, like I have it here at 3413 by 1440. Um, originally, this is not a 1440 monitor. It is a 25. Uh, let me check. It's a 2560 by 1080 monitor by LG. But um, I, I use it as a 1440, and it's at 60 hertz with a Display Port um, 1.2. Um, adjusting colors. Um, you know th that's per your preference I usually usually leave it at 60 um, and that's pretty much it really guys um, so I'm gonna be showing here or showcasing a video of how the uh, the performance has been uh, utilizing um, with these settings and don't get me wrong once you go into explain or any of your games 
the graphics are gonna look terrible. That's when you're gonna increase your your textures, your every your quality. You're gonna boost it up with no hits at all. And um, I've tested it in this um, in the X Plane, P3D, and um, American Truck Simulator, uh, Grand Theft Auto, and other games that I've been um, using here. So, like I said, I'll, I'll be showing you guys my um, my X Plane settings. So these are the settings that I'm using for X Plane. Um, for the flight model, I am using the default two, which is the fastest. I used to have it at ten or the highest. Uh, right there, but I was having a uh, very horrible frame rate and crashes and I, I, I didn't know what that was so I put it in two and see what it had what was it doing and you know everything went away um, so my graphics settings um, this is what I have uh, visual effects high on HDR texture quality maximum with no compression and anti-aliasing eight times by SSA and FXAA um, the default monitor settings that's that would be the 30 the what is it what did we say it was the um, the 1440p and um, and that's it guys you know um, hopefully this works and if you if it did work hit a thumbs up and <laughs>